Hey, son, daughter, stop for a moment and feel what I am about to tell you. It's no coincidence that you've come this far. I know you. I know your thoughts, your doubts, and your deepest fears. And even if you think that no one understands you, I understand you. I am here with every breath, in every beat of your heart. Now, I am going to tell you something that will change everything. You are closer to victory than you imagine. Beloved son, I need you to listen carefully. There is something important that I must warn you about. The enemy who cannot bear to see your light shine is preparing an attack. He does not want to see you prosper and will try to use someone very close to you, someone in your family, to attack you where it hurts most, through the one you love. But listen carefully. I am the God who sees everything. And I am giving you this warning so that you are prepared. Know this, I am with you, protecting you. That person may not even realize they are being used. Their hearts may be hurt, confused, or vulnerable. The enemy is cunning and knows how to manipulate emotions. He will try to sow discord, plant doubts, and create situations that cause wounds and separations. But son, do not fall into that trap. Keep your heart at peace and your eyes on me. I am warning you so that you can act with wisdom and discern what comes from the darkness and what comes from me. I am your protector, and nothing that the enemy plans will prosper against you if you remain firm in faith. When this storm comes, and it will come, do not let yourself be carried away by anger or fear. Do not allow the poison of words or attitudes to reach you. I give you strength and discernment to overcome this. Trust me, and remember, the enemy tries to use what is close to you because he knows your family is important to your heart. But I am the one who protects sincere hearts, and I will transform this situation into victory. Do not worry. For I am the God who sees beyond what your eyes can perceive. I am already working on healing this wound. I am preparing the restoration. The enemy may try, but he cannot defeat what he planned for evil. I will transform it into something much greater, a testimony of faith, unity, and improvement. But for this to happen, you need to keep your heart aligned with me. Do not let pride, bitterness, or fear distance you from my presence. I am at the forefront of every battle, and you will see how that person the enemy tried to use will be blessed and touched by my hand. The enemy does not know the power of love that I place in the hearts of my children. He may try to tear you down, but each attempt will be in vain because I am the God who lifts you up and protects you. Nothing can stand against the power of God in my life. Son, you are precious to me, and I will not allow evil to reach you. Keep the peace, trust me and I will show you that all things work together for the good of those who love me. The enemy may try, but it will never prevail against the plan I have set for you. You have already won, because I am with you. I trust in God's timing. I know that sometimes life seems like an endless storm. You look around, and everything seems out of place. But listen to this. I am the one who calms the wind and the sea. Nothing is out of my control. 
What seems like chaos to you I see as a perfect setting to achieve something greater. Remember, every flower needs to go through the darkness of the earth before seeing the light. I trust that God is taking care of everything. You wonder, why is all of this happening to me? I know you feel like you're carrying the world on your shoulders. But let me tell you a secret. Not everything is as it seems. While you think you're alone, I am preparing a twist that will leave you speechless. I am building a path brick by brick for you to overcome difficulties. Not for them to stop your story. It is still being written. What you see now are just chapters of a journey I have already outlined to take you further. All you need to do is trust. Trust because I have never left you and I will not abandon you now. I have already moved forward. I have already won the battles you have not yet seen. And when the right time comes, you will understand the reason for each tear, each difficult step. What is to come has no comparison. Great things are in store for you, but that will only happen when you let go of the control you try so tightly to hold. I ask you to let go and give me everything. I am the one who has known you from the beginning, and I know exactly what you need, even when you don't know it. I give everything into the hands of God. Now is the time to look up, not down. You are rising stronger, wiser, and more prepared than ever. What seemed like the end is actually the beginning of something extraordinary. Not only have I lifted you up, but I have placed you in a place where your light will shine for everyone around you. Your life will be a testimony of my power, my love, and my presence. My life will be a testimony of the power of God. And remember, son and daughter, I am the one who opens doors that no one can close, and I am about to open one that will take you to a new phase, a new level of blessings, peace, and joy. Stay strong. Do not be discouraged. I am with you now and always. Believe in God's promises. Now pay close attention to this moment in your life that seems so confusing and heavy. It's not a mistake. It's a process. And no, I'm not talking about just any process. I am molding every detail of who you are and who you are becoming. Every time you felt lost, every time the unbearable pain seemed too much, I was there sculpting something precious about you. You have never been an incomplete work. I see you as something already finished, even though you are still on the path. I can see the whole picture, while you only see a small part. The perfection you seek so much is not in the things around you. It is within you in the soul that I created with care. It is exactly that soul that is being refined. Do not be afraid of the changes. They are not destroying you. They are preparing you. I am being transformed by God, and now comes the part you may not expect. No, everything you think you have lost has not been a loss. In fact, what you saw as a closed door was actually a protection. I removed from your life what would not take you to where you should be. Yes, sometimes it hurts, I know. But trust that I am not one to let go of things halfway. Everything that has left your life did so to make room for something much greater. You are one step away from seeing all of this with clarity. What seemed like a dead end will transform into an open horizon full of possibilities. But don't rush. Time is not your enemy. I am the Lord of time. And everything is happening exactly as it should, even the pauses, 
even the silences. I am teaching you to listen, to feel, and to trust. This is the greatest learning, to know that you are safe in my hands, even when there are no immediate answers. I am safe in the hands of God. Now I will tell you something that may seem strange. Not only are you going through this phase, but you are growing through it. What you are experiencing now is like a tree putting down deeper roots. At the right time, you will flourish. You will look back and realize that every difficult moment was an opportunity to grow stronger, more resilient. You will be a living witness of my work. So take a deep breath and look at what you have now, not with the eyes of someone who has lost, but with the eyes of someone who is being prepared. I am leading you to a place where your story will make sense, where the promises I made to you will be fulfilled. What you carry in your heart, those dreams and desires that seem far away, I already know them. I am aligning everything in a way that will surprise you. This is the beginning of something extraordinary, and I am with you every step of the way. No matter how many times you fall, I will always lift you up. And remember, you are not alone. My hand is on you, and my plans are for peace, for hope in the future. Now move forward with courage. The best is yet to come. Comment. I move forward with faith. My son, pay attention to what I am going to tell you now, because these words are for your heart. I am your God, the one who chose you before you existed, who formed you with love and purpose. Today, I come to talk to you about great things that you still do not see, but they are already on their way. The time of transformation is coming in your life, a time in which what seemed impossible to you will be realized before your eyes. There are moments when you feel that things do not make sense and the weight of difficulties leaves you breathless. But let me tell you something. Nothing that happens to you goes unnoticed before me. I see every tear, every internal struggle, every battle you fight in silence. It is exactly in those moments of apparent loneliness that I am closest to you, working on your behalf, preparing the path that you cannot yet see. Don't forget, when it seems like nothing is happening, it is when I am moving mountains for you. Comment I believe in the promises of God. You know, my son, there are people and situations that are holding you down, preventing you from moving forward, you have been carrying weights that are not yours, and it is time to stop. What is holding you back is the fear of failure, the doubt about your value, or perhaps the insecurity about the future. Today I tell you, free yourself from that. Open your heart to the likeness that only my peace can give. Untie the knots that keep you tied to the past, and trust where I am leading you, opening doors that no one can close. Comment I surrender to the love of God. Son, I created you to be a light, to shine even on the darkest days. I know that you have faced storms, but I promise you there is no storm that lasts forever. Calm your heart because the sun is about to rise and when it does, it will bring with it the clarity you need. Your life is not an accident. Every step you take, even the uncertain ones, are leading you to the purpose I have prepared for you. Do not fear the unknown, because I have already been there. 
and I am waiting for you on the other side with new hope. Comment God is my security. There are things that you have to let go of. You need to let go in order to grab hold of what I am bringing. Let go of whatever is weighing you down. Let go of the dreams that are gone, the expectations that were not fulfilled. Let go of comparisons, blame, and resentment, and embrace what I am giving you now. A new opportunity to start and to dream again. The life I have for you is not made of perfection, but of growth, learning, and improvement. I will be with you every step of the way. Comment I trust in the love and direction of God. I see the strength you have, even when you don't perceive it. You are stronger than you imagine, because my strength is in you. Do not be discouraged. Do not let difficult days make you forget who you are, my beloved child, created to overcome, to be happy. No matter how difficult the road seems now, I am with you, holding your hand and guiding you on the right path. Comment I accept what God has for me today. I choose to believe that the best is yet to come. I choose to trust that I am taking care of everything, from the simplest details to the biggest problems. And remember, my son, that when you trust in me, what seemed like a loss becomes a new beginning. I am the God who makes all things new, who transforms the desert into a garden, who changes your story when you least expect it. Comment I continue with God by my side. Keep going, my son, with faith in your heart and see the wonders I have prepared for you. The day is not over yet, but I promise you the end will be better than the beginning, and I am your God. I will be with you every step. Trust and move forward. Now that you have opened your heart to my words, trust and move forward. Pay attention to what I am going to reveal to you. What I am preparing for your life is unprecedented. It is not just small changes. It is not just adjustments. What is to come is a complete turnaround. I am reshaping your story in a way you could not even imagine. Do you think you have already understood the magnitude of my plans? Let me tell you, they are bigger, much bigger than your eyes can see. Son, remember that the greatest transformations are born in moments of the greatest silence. When everything seems to be stopped, when nothing seems to make sense, that is when I am sowing the seeds of something great. Today, I ask you not to settle for the superficial or the predictable. I want to take you to deeper waters. I want to teach you to trust me like you never have before. In fact, believe that I am calling you to a level of faith that you have never experienced. I created you to go further, to break the limits that life tried to impose on you. You have been living in small spaces, but I will take you to broader terrain. You have become accustomed to daily struggles, but I will show you the victory I have already reserved for you. Listen to what I tell you now. The time of scarcity is ending. What seemed distant is quickly approaching. I am the God who accelerates time, who shortens the path, who transforms deserts into abundant rivers. What seems difficult today will tomorrow be a testimony of my power. You know, my son, 
Many times you have asked yourself why certain things have not happened yet. I hear your thoughts. I know your desires. But let me tell you something special. Not all fruits can be harvested out of time. I know exactly the moment that is suitable to give you what you have waited for so long. That moment is closer than you imagine. Do not hesitate. Just hold on tight, because what is to come is greater than you can conceive. Today I call you to leave behind the doubts, the fears, the uncertainties. The road you have traveled has brought you here. But what comes now requires a new attitude. I need you to trust me in a deeper way. It is not just about believing in what you see, but about trusting the invisible in what I am showing you in your spirit. Your faith will be the key that unlocks doors that have been closed for a long time, doors that you didn't even know existed but that will now open to you. I want you to know something important. You are not alone. I am with you every step of the way in every decision, on every path that you choose to walk. Even at the most difficult forks, when you feel lost, remind yourself that my hand is always extended to guide you. I am your map, your compass, your lighthouse. You need not fear the unknown, because I have been there before you. Everything is under my control, and every detail of your life is written in my book. Follow God's direction without hesitation. Lastly, beloved son, I ask you to look inside yourself and perceive how far you have come. You have overcome battles that, at first, you thought were impossible, and that was not by chance. It strengthens you for every struggle. I prepared you for every challenge. Now, is the time to reap the fruits of this journey. Do not look back with regret, but with gratitude, because what seemed like defeat was actually a detour that brought you closer to the purpose I outlined for you. Right. I am grateful for every victory that God has given me. What lies ahead will be like a new dawn in your life. And when the first rays of light touch your face, you will understand that everything was worth it. I, your God, am leading you to a place of abundance, a place of peace, where your dreams and my plans will finally meet. Son, I know every thought that passes through your mind, every doubt, every fear. I know that sometimes it seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, but let me tell you something new. It was not to carry that burden that I created you. I made you for lightness, for peace, and I am here to guide you back to the path of tranquility. Release your burdens into God's hands. My son, my daughter, the closer you come to me, the more I will reveal the wonders I have in store for you. The world is full of challenges, and you may often feel lost or overwhelmed. But remember, there is much beyond what your eyes can see. There is a beautiful purpose in your life that I am here to reveal if you walk under my guidance. When you believe in me, impossible things begin to happen. I will open doors that were previously closed. The shadows of fear that surrounded you will be dispelled. The traps that were prepared in your path will be destroyed, and the enemies that pursued you will have no more power over you. When the storms of life seem to rise around you, know that I am here, ready to hear your voice. I do not ask for anything material. What I desire from you is your faith. Bring your prayer now, 
and I will fill you with a peace that goes beyond any understanding. Extraordinary miracles happen when you seek me with all your heart. When you choose to dedicate time to be by my side, leaving aside the distractions that keep you away, every morning, when you kneel in faith and open your spirit to me, my heart rejoices. I see your trust, and that lights up the sky. The simplicity of the gesture of addressing me in prayer is of immense beauty. To each word you speak to me, I realize that you want to be in my presence. Believe, I listen to each cry with attention. My desire is to work wonders in your life and in the life of those you love. Trust me, and let me guide your story. Surrender your concerns and allow me to work in my time and in my own way. Continue to seek me with that pure and sincere faith that dwells within you. When you come to me with an open heart, my grace is poured out on you, and I hold you in every step. I listen to each of your prayers, and it is the exact moment to act. Today, I come to you with deep and sincere love. Trust what I say because my promises are firm and eternal, born of an unbreakable love. My love for you is immense, greater than what you can imagine. Even on the days when you feel small, fragile, or directionless, remember that I am with you, within my love. You are protected, welcomed, and deeply valued. There will be moments of pain and loneliness, but never forget that I will never leave you and I will never abandon you. My light shines about you as the sun warms the world with each new dawn. I am always near, guiding your steps, driving away fear and protecting you from all evil. Lift your face and fill your heart with hope because you are precious to me. You are my beloved son, my dear daughter. As you walk by my side, nothing can hurt you. I have already made the greatest sacrifice for you. I gave my life so that you could be free, so that your failures were erased and your shame eliminated. You do not need to carry the weight of the past because I have completely purified you. You are renewed, pure, and free to live in the fullness of my love. This is a matter between us and many will not understand your new life and prosperity. Some in the world do not know how to forgive and defend themselves against everything. Those who envy you will look for errors in you and invent lies to deceive others. But when they realize they can't hurt you, they may become so angry that they will try to blame you for their own failures. Do not be afraid when you suffer attacks. Do not be disturbed when they speak about you. Don't listen to gossip or rumors. Forget about dealing with false friends. Don't waste time begging for attention or friendship. You don't need anyone but me. If you tolerate mockery or humiliation, remember you have a sacred dignity. I did not choose you to live enslaved to the opinions of others. You do not need to ask anyone's permission to live your own life. May my grace and help be enough for you. When people see you succeed, they may envy you and plot plans to make you stumble. This message is a warning for you to pay attention to what surrounds you. I want you to learn to depend on me, to be filled with my word. The first thing you do at dawn should be to kneel and cry out for wisdom in my presence. I am prospering you, 
so that you can also be a support for your family, first for those in your house and then for others. Take care of the situations in your home and you will be even more prosperous. But if you spend the resources I give you on vain things, the windows of blessing will close. Beautiful times of immense abundance are on the way. But first, I want to see your loyalty. Do not let doubt and fear steal everything I have for you. That is why today, I ask you to face problems without fear. Do not hide from conflicts, and do not allow your legs to tremble before the threats of enemies. I will give you more wisdom and patience, so that you learn to wait for the fulfillment of my promises. Do not feel tempted to take on debts you cannot pay. Whoever borrows becomes a slave to the one who lends and it was never my will that you live in such slavery. My love for you is so great that today I come with a direct word. Sometimes I need to speak this way so that you understand how truly I love you and that I want you to live in peace. The secret to succeeding and prospering is in my written word. Learn from it. Come and listen to my voice every day. Do not come in a hurry. Do not offer me the time that is left over. Getting close to me is essential. Receive the love I give you through my voice, for every word that you hear is imbued with a holy oil of truth. I am your Lord, your Savior, and I forgive your sins. But you must hate evil, because nothing can be hidden from me. So come with confidence, for I am always ready to forgive you, cleanse you, strengthen you, bless you, prosper you, and raise you up. But in exchange, I want your faith, your loyalty, and your commitment to seeking me and doing good to others. I want to know if you love me with all your soul and if you give me the first place in your heart. Say now, write your answer with sincerity because I love you more and more every day. Today, the sky is moving because of you. I know this phrase may sound strange, but listen. The angels are around, preparing things that you cannot yet see. Battles are being won in dimensions that your eyes cannot reach. Believe in this. While you worry about the details, I am taking care of the big plans. God is moving the sky for you. And speaking of plans, I want to remind you that what I have prepared for you is much greater than you imagine. Yes, your dreams are big, but mine are even bigger. What you have in mind is only part of the puzzle. I see the whole picture, and while you debate the small decisions, I have already traced the path to take you beyond what you expect. I see every tear, every shy smile, every victory you didn't even celebrate properly. I also see the moments when you thought about giving up and leaving everything behind. But listen, son, don't surrender. This is where true strength lies. I give you that strength now, in this very moment. Not the strength that comes from muscles, but the strength that springs from the soul, the strength that keeps you going when the world seems to fall apart. There is a twist coming, one that will surprise you. Maybe you are not seeing the signs now, but I have already put everything in its place. In its due time, the pieces will fit. Do not rush, for the perfect time is on its way. I am the owner of time, and my clock is never late. I am the God who makes things change suddenly when least expected. What seemed impossible 
will become a reality before your eyes, not because you fought alone, but because you learned to trust. And that is what I ask of you today. Trust. Trust that I have already solved what keeps you up at night. Trust that I have already opened the doors that you didn't even know existed. Son, you are stronger than you think. When you feel weak, remember that I am your strength. When you feel lost, I am your way. When the world seems too noisy, I am the one who whispers peace in your heart. I am here now, always with you. Remember, the promises I made about your life have not been forgotten. You are alive, as alive as the air you breathe and absolutely nothing can prevent what I have determined for you from being fulfilled. What is yours, no one can take. What I have prepared, no one can change. You are mine, and I am yours. Now that you have received this truth in your heart, I want to tell you something that few understand. The greatest actions happen in silence, not in the noise of crowds, not in shouting words, but in the soft whisper that only you and I know. When you close your eyes and connect with me, that's where I move mountains inside you. While the world runs looking for answers everywhere, you just need to pause. You know that moment of deep silence where even your thoughts seem to calm down? That's where I come in, son. It is in that space where I place wisdom in you that only comes from above. I am already preparing you for things you cannot even imagine. Perhaps you are thinking, but God, the people around me, they do not understand me. They do not see what is happening inside me. And I answer you, don't worry. What I am doing inside you does not need to be understood by everyone. You have been chosen for something greater, and not everyone around you is ready to understand the depth of this. But remember what you carry. No one can take it away. God has prepared me for something greater, and now, son, I want you to know that this journey is yours alone, special. No one can walk it for you, but I am here to guide you every step. Sometimes the path will seem lonely, but never forget that I am your constant companion. I am the presence that never leaves you, even when everything around you seems to fall apart. Pay attention to this. The doors I am about to open are not like the ones you have already seen. They are bigger, deeper, and they will take you to places you never even dreamed of. But to cross them, you need to be ready to let go of what no longer serves you. Everything that is old, heavy, and ties you to the past needs to be left behind. The new awaits you, but you have to be willing to give up the old. When you cross those doors, you will know it. You will know that all the time of waiting has not been in vain. You will know that every tear, every prayer, every moment of doubt has been part of a greater plan. I do not waste anything, son. Every part of your journey is important. Every detail has a purpose, even those that seemed insignificant. The timing of God never fails. Now take a deep breath. Let go of fear. Let go of anxiety. Give me all your worries. I am the God who sustains the universe, and I also sustain your life. I have control over what is coming and I have already prepared everything so that you can walk in peace. 
What is coming will surprise you, but you will not be scared. And remember, son, no matter how dark the road ahead seems, I am your light. No matter how big the storm, I am your refuge. No matter how high the wall, I am the one who tears it down. You are mine, and your future is safe in my hands. Now move forward. What I have prepared is much greater than you can imagine. Trust, believe, and keep your heart open. Your victory has already been decreed, and the best is yet to come. Let us pray together. Dear God, today I come before you with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for always being present in my life. Even in the moments when I feel lost or discouraged, I recognize that life brings challenges and injustices that often make me question the purpose of things. But Lord, I choose to trust in you because I know that your wisdom is infinite. Help me, O oh God, to understand that every trial I face is an opportunity to grow and get closer to you. When difficulties arise, remind me that they are not a sign of your lack of love, but an opportunity to see your power and your grace in action in my life. Lord, I ask you to illuminate my mind and my heart so that I can see beyond appearances. Help me not to get carried away by comparison with others, but to recognize the uniqueness of my path, that I may be a beacon of hope for those around me, reflecting your love and goodness. Strengthen my faith, O oh Father. In moments of weakness may I remember that in your strength I find true power. When sadness and uncertainty try to dominate me, may I seek refuge in your word and in prayer. May my communion with you be constant, and may I never forget that you are my safe refuge. I also ask you for those who are suffering, especially for those who seem to be lost in their struggles. May your love envelop them, and may they feel your comforting presence. Help me to be an instrument of your peace, offering support and love to those who need it most. Lastly, Lord, I thank you for every day you grant me. Help me to live with purpose, seeking your will in everything I do. May I be grateful for the little things and recognize that every moment is a gift. May my life reflect the beauty of your creation and the depth of your love. I give to you all my worries and anxieties that the peace that surpasses all understanding may guard my mind and my heart in Christ Jesus. Amen.